forces are of two kinds balanced force and unbalanced force balanced forces in the image you can see a small ball lying on the ground now what are the types of forces that are acting on the ball the ball exerts a force in the downward direction and this force is acting in the direction of the earth and this force is called as a force of gravity so the ball which is exerting a force in the downward direction is named as force of gravity here and let us name this force of gravity as fg so it's the downward force towards the surface of the earth at the same time the earth also exerts a uh, an upward force on the ball so as you can see the name of that force is named as a force of reaction or we call it as a force of normal reaction so let us name the force of normal reaction as fn now there are two forces which are acting on the ball in the opposite direction one is acting in the downward direction that is the force of gravity is in the downward direction whereas the force of normal reaction is acting in the upward direction so here we can conclude that there are two forces which are acting on the ball in opposite direction now the ball is stationary it means that the forces which are acting on the ball are equal in magnitude as well for example if the ball is exerting a force of 2 newtons on the ground the ground is also exerting a force of 2 newtons on the ball so there are two forces which are acting on the ball these forces are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction and since these two forces are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction the ball remains stationary so such a force where the net force acting on the ball is zero is called as a balanced force so here you can see scientifically we can uh, show the balanced force that is acting on the ball as the force of normal reaction minus the force of gravity is equal to zero that means if we are taking the force of gravity on the right hand side the force of normal reaction becomes equal to the force of uh, gravity in that case what is the net force acting on the ball the net force acting on the ball is equal to zero so if the net force acting on any object is equal to zero it means that the object will remain in a state of rest so those forces which balance each other are called as balanced forces and balanced forces do not cause motion of the object let's consider the second example here you can see that the boy is trying to push a box the box is heavy so he is trying to push the box but the box does not move the box does not budge so let's try to evaluate or let's try to analyze the types of forces that are acting on the box so as i said earlier there are already two forces which are acting on the box the box is exerting a downward force of gravity towards the surface of the earth and we already said that we are going to name that force of gravity as fg the ground is also exerting a force of normal reaction on the box so force of normal reaction is fn in this case the force of normal reaction is equal to the force of gravity now there are another two forces which are acting along the x axis so if you see the boy is trying to push the box from the left hand side so let's name that force as force of force of push fp but there is another force which is exerted by the ground in the horizontal direction and acting on the box so this force which is exerted by the surface of the ground on the box is the force of friction okay so from the right hand side you can see as the boy is applying a force of push in the forward direction there is a force of friction which will stop the box from moving in the in the forward direction so that force is called as a force of friction or ff now in this case the box does not move it means that the force of push is equal to the force of friction that is force of friction minus force of push is equal to zero therefore the force of friction becomes equal to the force of push so if we calculate the total net force that is acting on the box the total net force that is acting on the box is equal to zero and as i said when the net force acting on any object is equal to zero then the forces are called as balanced forces what is the result of balanced forces when balanced forces act on an object an object remains stationary that is it cannot move or it is not set in a state of motion
so two equal and opposite forces applied on an object is called as balance forces if the resultant or net force acting on an object is equal to zero that means the forces are called as balanced forces if there are number of balanced forces which are acting on a stationary object then the object will continue to remain in a stationary position whereas if a number of balanced forces are acting on an object which is moving with uniform motion then the object will continue to move with uniform motion now though balanced forces cannot produce motion in a stationary object but balanced force can change the shape of the object unbalanced forces here you can see that a person is pushing a trolley and the trolley moves a certain distance that is the trolley set in motion because the person is applying a pushing force on the trolley so once again let's try to analyze the forces that are acting on the trolley as i said earlier there are forces which are acting on the trolley along the y axis so in the downward direction the trolley is exerting a force of gravity that is fg on the ground at the same time the ground is also exerting a force of normal reaction fn on the trolley so these two forces are balancing each other isn't it the force of normal reaction is equal to the force of gravity but if you see the forces that are acting along the x axis the person is applying a force of push fp on the trolley and the force of friction is also trying to stop the trolley from going into a state of motion but here what has happened is the force of friction is less than the force of push or the force of push becomes greater than the force of friction and that is why the trolley is set in a state of motion so as you can see scientifically we have shown that the force of push minus the force of friction here is not equal to zero therefore force of push becomes greater than the force of friction so in that case whenever here the force of push becomes greater than the force of friction in this case the force is called as unbalanced force whenever an unbalanced force acts on an object an object is set in motion so what is an unbalanced force a single force which is acting on a body is called as the unbalanced force in unbalanced force the resultant force or the net forces which are acting on the body is not equal to zero and therefore we call those forces as the unbalanced forces whenever unbalanced forces act on any object the stationary object goes into a state of motion also if unbalanced force is act on a moving object then it can stop a moving object just imagine if there wouldn't have been unbalanced force operating in the nature that is unbalanced force of friction or the unbalanced force of air resistance then an object in motion would continuously go in a state of motion and would never stop 